I, 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 ooh, I, I ended my stream. I am Kyle's official secretary. That is also true. Yeah, I've heard Twitch at you slash you just be okay, I need to grab me some more water. I've finished monitoring. But I guess, you know, Emoto's Angel, I am on, so um, sorry for making you move. What's the turret? She's on sabbatical. Because oh, Digis BB is on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I have controllers flying all over the place. Here we went a 360 controller, a PS4 controller, a freaking Switch controller, um, an original Xbox controller. Dang. And I'm burping. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's why I'm tasting pickles. I had pickles on my burger. Are you sure? Because Bubble Bass says otherwise. Bubble Bass can kiss right. Bubble Bass can kiss my pale butt. Don't don't uh, threaten him with a good time. I. Emerald has the same amount of warps as Crystal. Really? It does have the same amount of warps as Crystal? Seriously? Hoa does have a lot of houses. Whereas, like, but Kanto see, and Jodo have, can, like... I, I can remember anyway. where things are in Emerald. I'm, o I'm opening up the map tracker's Emerald version to see what we got to deal with. Now I'm curious. Yeah, it has like 323 warps, so yeah, it has about the same as what Crystal would. Digits, come back! You can blame I'm, it all on me! What? That's what the skull is saying. I am I here. Did. I didn't leave. I've been here. Do I just click the one that says Point Crow, or yeah. how do I get to Emerald? Point Crow. Point Crow's Emerald. I'll know where things are in Emerald. Oh, I forgot that Lugia and Ho-Oh -Ho are also on the... Uh, yeah, we're in Emerald. Does that mean we can go to old the old old C map area too? I guess Sakura must have thought I like walked away from the stream because I stopped talking about Star Wars and Excel spreadsheets for more than like a minute. I'm just like looking all around and just making sure like how many places that we have to check for warps. Oh, think about it like with the bike path from the, you know, the, the tower guys on Requesa's tower that you have to go through like the cracked holes and everything. Yeah, the one, the one that you spent like quite a while on in that Emerald play playthrough. Yeah, we're we're gonna have to go through that if you want to try all those warps. If you, need I mean, to I remember do. that back, back when I was first playing like Gen Three as a kid. Like, I probably spent. I remember like, I played that while on like a family vacation or something, and spent like a whole afternoon trying to get through that tower because I kept falling. And then my aunt kept complaining about how much how long I was playing Game Boy, and I was like, "Come on, man, I'm trying to get a legendary. You don't understand." Yeah, I have to go get. I have to go meet Requaza. Requaza. Oh gosh, I would hate doing the abandoned ship just because it's like. It's funny that Azalea Town came up as you were finishing Crystal. Oh damn, there's a lot of a lot of warps. Yeah. I'm calling it now. Remember, we also have to surf there too. That's a warp there too. Or the freaking aqua magma hideout. Oh yeah, that's also true. Uh, oh, it even includes the... I was about to say DLC. Because of uh, Naval Rock. Mm -hmm. The DLC! I want to do some DLC! Kicking? I want to do some kicking! Uh. Or the freaking seafloor cavern with its uh, <sighs> currents. Oh, I just remember like with uh, Fortree City, if you don't get the the kaleidoscope from Steven right away, uh, you're going to be stuck there. Because <laughs> some of those paths are <laughs> blocked. Yep. 
Well, as you long as you don't to, have you to can't encounter to the gym. even in order in story progression, that shouldn't be that bad. It, you you can't get to the gym. Well, that is yeah, if yeah, you yeah. if you try to go down to the gym, but if you go to if from the, if you come from the gym and everything, that's what you're fine. But speaking of, yeah. that's the one nice thing about Gen Three slash Emerald that we won't have to deal with. Like in Johto, nobody blocks the gyms except for that freaking Kecleon. Yeah, that, that invisible true. Kecleon. So if you try to go down to it, you can't get to it until you get this freaking scope. Are, are there any side quests that we have to do for the gyms? I don't think so in Emerald. Outside, outside store no, ex progress. Except for getting the... Uh, Wally's technically blocking the gym as a... Well, that's not really a side there quest. There is, but, but no, you... Except for him, you you just gotta battle him outside the yeah third like gym, that's and that, that's easy. Like that's that, easy like to that. do. This is easy to do, which is yeah. No everyone's problem. a lot straightforward in terms of like what you gotta do. You just go to the gyms. You for, don't for story progress. That's easy. Um, I think, but uh, for the eighth gym, which I guess is technically one because it's emerald, is you do have to save the world, right? The, the, yeah, the, summary. Like the, the last gym is usually where you have to do the final story progress, and then you're able to do the last gym, so I think you can't do the last gym until you beat the story. So would we have to do all of parts. the Team Aqua, Team Magma story beats? Then? Yeah, yeah, I'm not 100% certain get... what are the checks for, um, for emerald. It might be, it's, it's like, unlike, um, Gen 4, like with Heart Gold, Silver, Platinum, and other stuff, like in Gen 5, I don't think the, the story beats are super, super uh, scripted, oh. so they should be okay by doing them out of order. There is the summary you have to deal with, because you can you know, go up through just to get deal with the um, Kyogre and Got on whoever, yada yada yada. Depending on your copy, Emerald. Uh, like, there are a few yeah, like one yeah, just more all that locations, stuff. though. You gotta just, just, just imagine that we have to find a gym to allow us to surf. I think that is, I think that is the second gym leader. I am worried about all the bike areas. I don't know which like, gym it was. Guy pillar in a cave. Oh, would it's the floor still collapse, or would you? Yeah, it would still collapse. Yes. Um, also, you know, it's your dad. That you, the the dad uh, gym badge is the one that gives you the ability to serve. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But you'd also have to find the fourth is the fourth is the warp to get inside said house. So that would also another be a yeah. Second is flash. The first one is for cut and trying to get yeah. Have fun trying to find the warp to get to the house for cut. Uh, I don't. You don't need cut early I, on, right? No, necessarily no. I don't think you need no. cut for really anything. I mean, I, more I still and, would grab it unless you want to get around oh, some. Yeah. Unless you want to get around some things, with some trainers. Yeah, I think surf is once again the most important HM. There's because strength you only need until like Victory Road. Um, there's don't rock you have to do rock smash? Yeah, your rock smash is the yes. more important. This one, uh, surf and rock smash, then yeah. For rock smash. Yeah, that's the third gym badge, and then you also have to do um, waterfalls. I think waterfalls is pretty important though, because like in Gen 2, you didn't there's only like that's... one place for waterfall, really, like one or two places for like your... waterfall, which is your last gym badge, yeah. Yeah, there's like a small amount. It's like it's still a little bit more than what it was in like Gen 2. But that's the issue as well. It's like if there's uh, checks for some waterfalls, you're going to have to do them. Yeah, and fly, of course, is your sixth gym. I mean, the one blocked by Kecleon. I mean, yeah. But luckily, it's is not. It, but is it really, is it really worth it? I mean, fly. I mean, fly has has helped a lot of us out, especially during the when we were able to fly around Kanto. <laughs> I was having fun getting fly so soon, so quick. Fly was. 
my that gym was just right on the same island, and his right was right there. Go cheats. Because it was just a Pokemon Center. Go cheats. I, I, you're the one who made that one. You made it. It's not my fault. Go cheated. Yeah, when was not my fault? Yes, it was. Just because I gave up on my first one was not my fault. That is very much your fault. I blame my poor... I, I blame my poor uh, freaking attention span. <laughs> And the cursors are got if you want your fossil, there's those uh go goggles. That is only if we have to go to the desert. Oh yeah, for us the magma emblem. And you would also need the fourth badge for that. Mm -hmm. So good luck getting the warp That's to lava ridge, which is only one warp to do that. Yep. Is there only one warp to lava ridge? Well, one warp to get to the... Uh, well, I guess six warps, sorry. Yeah. But, like, if you want to get to the outside area, normally. No, yeah, normally, yeah. Yeah. Blazer, what's that Game Boy Player thing you have? The pocket? The analog pocket? Also, Kyle, she... Skull's asking you to come back to Twitch if you didn't see that message. Yeah, I saw that. So I just replied to type though, because I'm just like moving on from that. <laughs> yeah. No comment. Yeah, the analog pocket, that is an expensive item. Uh it's I think it's on sale now, but um it's a really nice item. Yeah, what about it? I'm guessing you can't do Safari Zone in this. I I don't even know if it would be worth doing. I mean, randomized Pokemon during the Safari Zone? I mean, would you even want to? Uh, Don't you, the Safari Zone? It depends zone, if you want basically. to get, like, Pokemon there. I mean, if you have, if you have 250 in, in your, um, in your, um, in your account right now, yeah, it's a really good item, but it's, again, it's expensive as heck. And I would recommend getting some of the pr protective items, like the plastic case and um, screen protector. I think well, Safari is vanilla, but it's like, if we're going to randomize Pokemon, Emoto, it's going to be randomized Pokemon in there. Mm -hmm. And who knows what the egg that you can get in Lava Ridge will hatch into. Oh yeah, I forgot there's an egg that we can get. wonder if our fossils would be randomized as well. Yes. Most likely. Yes, yes, fossils what they would be. Fossils would be randomized. Be. Fossils would be mean, randomized. Yeah, it, would, it would still be sort of like a claw fossil and the... Uh, yeah, it, it, would be the same, it, would, fossil. it would be the same fossils, but the the, the fossils well, that they, you get... The Pokemon you get out of it is different. Mm -hmm. You can get a Mewtwo So it makes me wonder it. that... Of course, what's your legendary... What, what What's what's Groudon and Kyogre going to be? What about Rayquaza? That too. Ah, of course, it's like, how about a, um, how are we going to get to, as, like, what, what, what we're we going to do to get the oxes? Um, if we want to try to, no, wait, we'd have to do a weird cheat to get that. Uh, what can I play on it? Uh, you could play any Game Boy game. Game, the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance right from the get-go. Those are the three main consoles. If you get any of the adapters, you can play almost any handheld game, uh, anywhere, any handheld cartridge-based games in there also outside of like the vita and stuff like that but yeah it's pretty much and if you get specific uh, adapters but the basic of them all it's game boy game boy color and game boy advanced uh, i could afford it but i can't so you don't have the money it's a not on my f fixed income uh, give me your money. No. Give me your money. No. You, you already, you already bleed me at one. You already bleed me at a specific point of the year. 
It's like a small pinprick on the end of my finger. Out of all these... Uh... Is Lovridge really the most uh, inaccessible one? You can't access normally outside of, like, the warps. Yeah, the that, one that is also true, yeah. There's Everything a lot of stuff you have to get through. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, so it's a really small top town, top. so there's not that many warps to begin with. Yeah. You might just end up in the hot spring and just be chilling there with nowhere else to... <laughs> yeah. Even, no. Chilling with the naked down. ladies. Mm -hmm. Nick, why is that the doing hot springs, man? Hey, hot Digi springs in cute. Japanese culture is that everyone just wears a bath towel. What? I learned <laughs> That's this. I've appropriate this. Oh, reaction. I've learned this from uh, the what? Japanese games. <laughs> so, what was the game? What's the, what's the game plan? Is there a towel while they're in the water? That, no, I it's know. not a thing. That's a thing if they're showing it in like a movie or something, because you can't just, you know, show full on nudity, but generally people are just, you know. Oh, my screen went bright. Naked in the water. Down. So I'm assuming that similar to Red, for Emerald, the, the final boss would be Steven. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I thought when you said Steven, I was like, is he uh, a champion? And I forgot, no, this is Emerald. No, this, because there's two different gym leaders. Uh, the, one of them is either the gym leader, and then the other one's the champion. And then, of course, in... Um, yeah, there's a lot less items yeah, key then, to keep track of, as you can see. It's mm -hmm. not like 20. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, that's when they decided to turn Steven into the champion. So that's nice. Yeah, I think all we need Emerald, is Steven is the I'm, I'm down uh, for Emerald. I think all we need is uh, for Chris to Chris and... The question is, do we want to add like an extra yes. rule to the um to this run or we're gonna just keep it like a normal one for now? Because like I wanna do like a little bit of like a variety of different things that we do for each of these runs. Like again, like Either we have like a gimmicky... I'm down for doing that or yeah. something. Like hey. e either we have some kind of gimmicky thing, like um I know Kyle suggested at one point metronome only runs. Or like um we have oh. like uh, extra challenges like we do nuzz locking I... and extra stuff like that. We can do we can I do really didn't suggest metronome only for a map race. But... No, it's not um, it's not it's not a map race specifically. I mean like randomized oh. Pokemon stuff, like anything like specifically like with the rat randomizer races. It could be pretty lock. funny and chaotic, I guess, yeah. It's I don't think I really suggested lock. that. I think I was just laughing about it, because I have done randomizer runs metronome only on my own time, and it gets pretty ridiculous. How could we explode? The amount of time. It's like an orange island. <laughs> well, that's the frustrating thing about, you know, if you're doing a metronome only run, you just got to get it. You can't rely on a party with only, like, one tank Pokemon, because if your Pokemon self-destructs, then you're screwed. <laughs> You gotta have some backup pose. Or good luck trying to catch anything if you're trying to weaken it. If, if it teleports, roars you, twirl winds you, anything like that. Whoa. But yeah, no. Ne ne I mean, next randomizer race, we can. We probably. Um, I will say, like, our next little extra thing is that we set all Pokemon. So no matter what, we can't go in knowing what we the opponents will have each time. I think that's. A decent upgrade to challenge the that's, that's yeah. fair, even though that broke me. Kyle, do you but agree with fair. that too? Do you agree with what? Sorry. Uh, next time, like, if we're gonna do, if we're gonna the map randomizer race, sounds like we want uh, agreeing with Emerald, and from that, I think the next challenge, like the next added challenge to it, would be we set Pokemon, so we don't know what the next Pokemon the opponent's gonna send out. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Sure. That's good for racing and being fast as well. Yeah, it also helps fast. Yeah, rather than have it reselect. Yeah. It'd be like, it's like, ah, oh, I sent a Tokopi. Ah, oh, cute. How cute. Sends out. Machamp. Machamp or Golem. I was going to say Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> go, go, Godzilla. Boom. <laughs> you know that Godzilla's official oh, civ no. 
citizen of Japan. There goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla. <laughs> Funny how Godzilla is is uh, officially a citizen of Japan, yet in every almost every single one of its movies, it destroys some of Japan. That's kind of strange to be a citizen, yeah. That that and like it also is... Yeah, the whole point is that they're trying to get rid of Godzilla, so you don't think they would want to give it citizenship. Well, it's in, in like a lot of its movies, it's a hero, and in some of the movies, like the first one, it's a horror flick. Yeah, that's how it should be. Appeasement. Like, hey, if we get your citizenship, will you please stop protesting so violently? <laughs> Dude, it is the seventy. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get some, you gotta get some light protesting at an embassy before dinner time. <laughs> it is the seventieth anniversary of Godzilla, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna re-release Godzilla in um in uh theaters so kyle you and i and like sean and carl have to watch that yeah godzilla is a pokemon is, it, is there a pokemon that's based off godzilla i feel like they should have been Tyranitar. Is it Tyranitar? Tyranitar has kind of the stature of godzilla like large torso with short legs yeah no i guess so It's either like Tyranitar or what's the what's that Pokemon was? Bas Baxcalibur. Baxcalibur. That sounds like a a really elegant name for a back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a back scratcher that looks like a sword, and it's called Baxcalibur. <laughs> I mean, you could see it as like a Godzilla one, and then there's Tyranitar too. Digits normal. Gilliver, normal Gilliver never shows up on my island. He, it's... Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, I get really frustrated whenever um, Isabel says that there's somebody washed up on the shore, and then it ends up being the uh, the one with the red outfit, the diver one. I'm like, I don't care about this guy, I just need blue feet. Oh, well, man. That's an Animal Crossing complaint. All right, how many times I restore that dude's phone, he keeps sending me, like, national monuments instead of the golden shovel recipe. It's infuriating. I thought you had the golden shovel. No, I don't. It's, like, the only thing I don't have in New Horizons still. I have, like, a complete museum, every other golden tool, but I've never gotten the golden shovel recipe. This is a really old, this has to be a really old Happy Meal. Or is it that new? I don't know. I'm sending, Happy it, meal. I'm sending this into Justin's classroom. You're still calling it that? He, he doesn't have a classroom, oh, he has a dorm. <laughs> to clarify, um, Justin has a dorm, not a classroom. I still imagine him Oh my god, the that, that's... I... The 2000s are screaming from that Happy Meal box. It's like, I th I th it <laughs> the looks like, early 2000s. I, I thought it just, it just looked like 2000s, but it also, ha isn't there like a, like a sponsorship with Yu-Gi-Oh going on right now? Oh my gosh, dude. That's like it Happy like... Meals if they were made in 2003. <laughs> yeah, it's like, is What it... I've done. It's, okay, so it, 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 it's it's just it's a current thing, but it's like yeah, that's like that Happy Meal just looks so two thousands. It really. How does. is that current? It looks like it's from over twenty years ago. That's what I was saying too. I mean, they could have kept it from. Is it actually from current? Um, I'm looking at the replies. It's saying. Is it? It's saying like they got they got it recently. Yeah. I'm surprised because I, it's not like I'm like, um, I know what American kids and teens are up to these days with their fandoms, but like, is Hello Kitty even relevant to American youth? Like, Hello Kitty's always been popular with Japanese youth, but I don't think I've seen a Hello Kitty merchandise thing in, around in like the US in quite a while. 
Yeah, at least not since the. I remember there was some stuff from the nineties because my sisters had a couple. Yeah, of yeah. Games. Then again, it's not like I'm really wandering around shopping malls or anything, or <laughs> being on social media. So I guess what do I know? But yeah, apparently I think McDonald's is having a Yu-Gi-Oh Hello Kitty Happy Meal thing going on in Canada right now. That's that just feels like you know corporate McDonald's just does not know what kids are into these days. So they're trying to bring back something from two decades ago. Uh, let's see. Kindly send. Next, me they're all... gonna. I don't know what what's something else. It's like very like you know they're gonna have toys from. I don't like. Let me just look up kids entertainment two thousand four. Uh. Kindly send me all the golden tools you have, says Skull. Uh, I watched Hello Kitty as a kid. I barely watched Hello Kitty as a kid. And that was like, it was like early 2000s. That was such a weird time. I even remember the creator coming out and saying how Hello Kitty is actually a dude. Yeah, the the creator said it's like I think I oh. like said like Hello Kitty is not like an anamorphic kitty. It's a guy who just transformed into some kind of kitty-like creature. The first I'm hearing of this, I remember seeing like um like a report on it a long time ago. Two thousand four video games. Oh yeah, Half Life Two, Metal Gear Solid Three. Ooh, Sly Cooper Two, Band of Thieves. That was a good game. Oh, look at this pla Pokemon Black um, naming. Oh man, that's I name I named a stunt <sighs> I named a stunfish. In my Pokemon Black playthrough, big fart. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's so funny with that Paper Mario remake coming out this year. Like how when they announced that, I was like, "Dude, but Thousand Year Door is held up so well. Why do they need to remake that game? It's on the GameCube." And then I think I'm like, "Oh my God, a Thousand Year Door turns 20 years old in 2024. That's insane." Yep. Also, I'll probably buy that game on like day one, honestly. <laughs> I, I'm definitely heavily considering getting it on day one. It's like, even though I do have the GameCube version, I can't play it with my current setup. And I don't know, I'm just very curious, like, what they would have done to, like, change anything. Plus, if it's on Switch, maybe it's possible that I could play the game in different languages, too. So I say different languages, I mean Japanese. I'm not going to, like, try to play the game in French. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that comes out uh, late May, so... In May, yeah, like right after Digis PB Day, I guess. We got we got to watch, um, what was that joke? Terminator, uh, Terminator Salvation. Salvation. I got, <laughs> yeah, I'm Terminator. really excited about that, actually. Because <laughs> we've been, that's been like in the, pl like in the plan for like almost a year now. Like, I think we decided that whatever, whatever day it was, we watched Terminator 2, whatever day that came out. Mm -hmm. Terminator 2 released a... July 3rd. So since July 3rd of last year, we've been planning on watching Terminator Salvation on May 21st. <laughs> James, you should join us on that. And watch some steamy scenes, if there's any. <laughs> watching what? Terminator Salvation. Terminator Salvation. I don't think there's going to be any steamy scenes, because, like, I... Like, post-Judgment Day, and, like, Arnold's not even in it, and... Yeah. There's anything to do with the steamy scene, because Arnold was not steamy in Terminator 1. <laughs> The, the fact that Arnold was not there during the steamy scene is what enabled the steamy scene to happen because he had not caught up to him at the time. Oh, I forgot that we had a tracker with all our group members doing um, Animal Crossing. Who had what? That was a long time ago. I 
I like how Justin, you, I remember you asking you this. Like, I remember you, that I asked, what should I name my Trubbish? And you just literally just said Gen 7. One day, maybe I'll give Gen 7 another try. Honestly, Gen I think I should do it. Generation. Dude, we gotta ra map randomize Gen 7 so we get stuck in cutscenes every time we go through. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> There's no map yeah, randomizer I feel like that'd be one of the worst Think randomizer. about that. That would be like a masterpiece. You get a story out of order with, like, cutscenes everywhere. Like, it's... It would be like a dramatic retelling of the story in, like, a broken chronology. Genius. That's probably what the developers intended all along. Really? It would, it would be like Star Wars, dude. You get, like the middle of the plot and then you go back to the beginning as your map is randomized. Yeah. I wonder how I can do this. No, that's not working. Oh well, I'll do it this way. <laughs> I forgot that Kyle made a lot of these pictures for this like Excel sheet that is incomplete. <laughs> I forgot that Justin was playing Luigi oh, when he yeah. first did this. Justin, look, look, Justin, you're wearing clean clothes. Dude, this is like the very like early Photoshop thing. <laughs> I think it's when I was using GIMP, which is like a much harder Photoshop to use. Yeah. <laughs> it is early day Photoshop, that's for sure. Talk about and that. here you have back in the day before I knew what Carl looked like. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. All right, let's see. With Pokemon randomizer done, I can now move on to something else. I like how we got Zelda music playing right now. So peaceful. Nice. 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 Question is, do we play Sword Tour right now, or do I play something else? Hmm. Well, how lo how much further we are on the planet? Just to finish my story, my 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 quest mission for the planet, and then we can then we are done with Balmora. And then we get to move on to the shortest of all of our planets, which is Quesh. And then we get to move on to Hoth, which is the longest part of part two. Yeah. The frozen planet. We get to go freeze our buns off on Hoth. Yeah. Sounds so enthused. No, I sound mm -hmm. I sound so enthusiastic right now. Mm -hmm. uh. I mean, it can't be any worse than part three. I mean, we could. Or Kyle and I could just yeah. play Nick, 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 Nickelodeon Kart Racers. <laughs> well, I'm actually. Uh, I was about to say that. I have work tomorrow, so... <gasps> work on a weekend? Yeah, this has been a recurring thing. But this spring. I'll be getting overtime. I am. Naruhodo. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know what else to say in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, Naruto. Hino Naruto is more than most otaku know, I guess. Not good night. Uh, Sayu. No, oh, wait, that's goodbye. Uh, Oyasumi? Yeah, that's correct. Yep. Yay! Anime, help me. <laughs> Thank you, you also anime. know how to say... say good night to my friend. Waku waku. I mean, waku waku. You... Yeah, waku. <laughs> <laughs> waku waku. Word one, I guess. Waku waku. Waku waku. Thank you, Spy Spy Family, for teaching yeah, us we're, we're, how to say Waku. We're almost. We oh, is that where people know that from? <laughs> it's because yeah, it's such a popular thing, and people started making that as the meme. That was that came out while I was in Japan. I think. A little bit, yeah. Waku 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 waku. Yep. Hey, I read the manga okay. before they even made it as an anime, and before it was oh, even wow, cool. Oh wow, dude! Okay, hipster. Hipster net here. He <laughs> was doing it before it was even cool. Yeah. Blazer Manga 112. Yeah. Bow down to my parents, Justin. Nifix. Then again, we're almost done with Balmora. Yeah, let's just finish up Balmora then. And then if Justin is uh, available, uh, would you like to go to trial with me? Uh, sure. So like yeah, we would play Sword Tour, and then that means you could take like a out like an hour and a half to two hour break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you could just stay on. on I'll on take with that us until... time to like. I'll take that time to go to bed or to watch Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, the best <laughs> movie in the entire series. <laughs> don't forget! Don't forget to watch it. I'm, uh... I'm just kidding. It's not realistic because that movie is long as hell, and it would take a lot longer than an hour and a half to watch. No, no, Kyle, you gotta you gotta watch its 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 secret uh, uh middle movie eight eight point five, Star Wars: The Supposed Last Jedi. <laughs> So Emerald and June I mean, or something. Ne there's never a last one, right? No, there's never. Give me another sequel trilogy to freaking. Um, are, are we? Are we? Are the we? Sequel trilogy in which they tried to make the sequel characters all, actually interesting. Hear you all. I like uh, it here. Star Wars. No, no, uh, no, Imono. We're, we're, we're starting. We're starting Emerald uh, uh, next week, as we clearly discussed. So, like on 420, all of us will be very prepared. For like an emerald run, I'm just, and uh, will will yeah, be yeah for a for for a green video game. That's very, <laughs> very green, perfect. It help 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 it represents the the holidays, you know. Oh man, you know I just really? read, like well, the, I guess the ugh, the viewership isn't high enough, man. The viewership isn't high enough. Only Queen Soccer doesn't chat, you know. You can't. I can't debut the playlist yet, man. It's a bummer because I've been wanting to debut the playlist, but we just we need the. The community engagement for it to happen. <laughs> I have to feel like the timing is right. L Luigi was on earlier. I see. I'll see you next week, Kyle. <laughs> nah, nah, Justin. I you mean, really, really, maybe on April twentieth we could debut the playlist if there's no viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like a fitting day to debut the playlist because yeah, there is some okay. rather, you know, April twentieth, twenty twenty four kind of music in there. The only file I'm going to be sending uh, Justin as a test file is... Uh, uh, An improperly randomized one? No, no. It's only a map <laughs> randomizer. He will not get, like, a proper Pokemon randomized, like, Pokemon, because I want to save his RNG for later. <laughs> save my RNG? What does that even mean? If you get really oh, bad luck, yeah. we can laugh at your misery and be like... Wow. <laughs> we, we could be, like, the, the, those, like, laughing people. <laughs> laughing people. Okay. What, what does that, that mean? <laughs> <laughs> we can laugh yeah, at your misery. Already... We can be like those laughing people. <laughs> yeah. I'm already in the game, and I was wrong. There's like what the, the my... people in a sitcom laugh track is there's that what quest. you mean? Or like... And then there's our planet story quest. The entire planet story that we were still doing. Like these guys. So we, we are almost. We are almost done with the planet story, and. More actual plan. No, it comes for the part where we and throw mine. our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready? <laughs> I see a high ground. Um, the black, black, black and white two randomizer emoto. I think that is mainly going to be trying with with me, Justin, and Will, because one, 
Kyle has never touched or even, I, I would assume, seen anything much of Gen 5. And I don't know about Chris's stance on it. Plus, he's the most. Yeah, I've, I've played uh, time the original Pokemon White, but not like very extensively at all. Yeah, so I don't really remember anything about the map. Or and I did, I did, I did warn Will and Justin that of the potential soft locking. So it's one of those like, uh, it's most likely to give it less uh, problematic. It's just going to be us three who know Black and White to enough. And then from there, it's just like figuring out. It's just figuring out at that point who gets soft locked and who has to reset and all that stuff. Well, sorry, bro. I'm going to bed. No, you won't. You just, you're going <laughs> to sleep in the bed. Okay, Mr. Semantic. She shouldn't you get an English degree? I mean, <laughs> want to change? Want to switch degrees? I mean, sure, dude. Yours is pretty relevant of the job market, I guess. Yeah, good luck finding one. Nick just written on like a fallon to get in here. Oh, like, like, James oh, is oh, already like, in. Uh, That's James is already in. I'm already in. Oh, dude, I'll oh, like, like Nick, I'll like show up to like a job interview with a snake in a box. And I'll be like, why do you bring that here? And I'll be like, to demonstrate I'm very skilled at Python. Oh, banana. <laughs> and you know what else I would do? I'd show, I would show up to um, I'd show up to the job interview with really big glasses, and they're like, "Why are you wearing such silly glasses?" And I'll be like, "So I can see sharp." And I'll be like, "I see." Yeah, I'm totally worthy of the computer science degree. <laughs> and I'll be like, "I see." Mm. And they'll be asking me a question, but I'll be like breaking eye contact with them to like sip my coffee while looking at a sheet of paper. And they'll be like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, checking my my JavaScript. Nice. Is that all your jokes? Yeah, I think I've had enough. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll think of a joke, or at least half of a joke, but I just need to punch my... Okay, so yeah. basically, you take like, you were saying something about like seeing sharp, and they're like, well, what about seeing flat? And I was like, what about flat? And I was like, well, of course <laughs> yeah. flat. We just didn't have it there, yeah. It's like a Mitch Hedberg, the one-liner comedian, has a bit where he's like, sometimes I'll be lying in bed, like starting to fall asleep, and I'll think of a joke, and then I want to write it down, but if I can't find a pen, I just had to convince myself that what I thought of isn't funny. How much, how much of a jerk do I want to be for future Moto right now? Hmm. Hmm. I've been to a few stand-up nights, and like sometimes comedians will just like, every once in a while, they'll just be like, yeah, I just so, uh, I decided to take all the notes that I've written down as like, jokes that I thought of, and then just trying to decipher what I thought I meant for them, because I was right, <laughs> because like sometimes, you know, you write down a joke at like 2 a.m. as you're about to go to sleep, and you wake up, and you're like, what is this? <laughs> It seems really funny at the time, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna change. Okay, we're changing games right now.